The jigsaw is an incredibly versatile tool and belongs in every shop, but it does have a reputation of doing rather rough work. Well, you can make a jigsaw perform very well with just a couple tips and a few things to know. First off, you need to do your research on blades. Now, I like this blade here, which is a clean cut blade and has about 12 teeth per inch. But there's a whole world of different blades meant for metal, plastics, fine cutting, rough cutting, most cut on the upstroke, some cut on the downstroke. You need to find out what blades are available and do a little practice. You know, a little bit of practice with your jigsaw and the material that you want to do a really good job with will pay off. Now, a couple simple tips. The major problem we have with jigsaws is they leave a rough, ragged edge. So one thing to think about is that we always cut on the back side of our work. So this is a nice clean cut. This will be my show side. The back side is where I do my work. So the damage is on the back. Now, if you want to control that chip out a little bit, a couple things you can do. One thing that sometimes help is to put a piece of masking tape down over the area that you're going to be cutting. And that can help bind the fibers together and keep them from lifting up and being so ragged. Another thing that really works well is to score the line that you're going to be cutting. So using a utility knife, cut all the way through the facing veneer on the plywood. And it also works on solid wood as well. By severing those fibers and cutting on the outside of the line, we're going to prevent all that lift out and tearing, give a much better cut. And finally, here's another little tip. You know on our table saw, we have zero clearance inserts for really clean, crisp cuts? Well, you can do the same thing with your jigsaw. This is a piece of masonite, and I've cut it to the shape of the base blade of my saw. And I have a piece of double-sided tape on it. So with that in place, I'm going to have a little bit of protection and keep those chips and those splinters from lifting up. So think about the blades, think about those tips, put your jigsaw to work, and get optimum performance out of it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. You can also click the bell to get notifications every time we post a video. Feel free to comment below and we'll get to as many as we can. Also, we're including links to the sources, plans, everything you need to know in the description below. Thanks.